Hi, today we try to learn the concept and apply the concept. We have two questions. We have to find integral solutions for the given equation and positive integral solutions for the given equation. I am giving you a direct formula for solving this type of question which is in front of you. You can download it from either from website or from Facebook. But the most important thing for this type of question is to understand how we are generating this formulae. Okay, let's check the concept. The first concept is if you have an equation x into y equal to n in this form, we say this form is the factor equation forms, then the x and y should always be factor of n. If you are using the word integral solution, so we are looking for the factors of n and the plus factor, also the minus factor. That means if x into y is equal to 6, it means we are looking for the factor of 6 in neither but 1, 2, 3, 6, 6, 3, 2, 1. So we have nothing but the four factors set because there are four factors of 6, but this is only for the positive. But if we are looking for the integral solutions, means integral should be positive, negative or zero. It means we are looking for the plus minus set. If we are going for the plus minus set, means we are doubling the numbers. So this becomes 8. If we are looking for the integral solution, we just need to find total number of factors of n. That is TNF, total number of factors and multiply if we are looking for the integral set. Okay, this is the first concept. Generally, CAT or JAT or any examination asks a question like 1 by x minus 1 by y say equal to 7. There is one way of solving this is you just simplify, write the equation and convert into factors form. But the direct way of solving this is, I am just writing the last step. If you have 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to 1, this is a general form of this equation. So what we are doing is x minus 1 y minus 1 and product of minus 1 and minus 1 is 1. This is a general form of this equation. What I am doing is x minus numerator y minus numerator is product of constant terms is the RHS but the condition is this should be 1. Okay, I am writing you again one thing if this one is 3 by x plus 4 by y equal to 2 what would be the general factor form is here we have 2 converted to 1 so this is nothing but 3 by 2x plus 4 by 2y equal to 1 so it's 4 by 2y we can say 2 is cancelled 2 by y we have the equation factor is 2x minus 3 numerator minus denominator y minus 2 numerator minus denominator and product of minus 3 and minus 2 is 6 so this is a general term if you have anything like this just convert into this form and get the answer according to the question so here we have 7 so we can say this is 1 by 7 x minus 1 by 7 y is nothing but 1 so this is 7 x minus 1 in this here the everything is plus so we can say this is plus of minus 1 we can say 7 y minus of minus 1 is plus 1 equal to minus 1 is the constant and the constant is minus 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 1 minus 1 into plus 1 is minus 1 but we do not want minus sign in the RHS so we multiply minus in the whole term that is 7x minus 1 convert 1 minus 7x into 7y plus 1 that is 1 so we are looking for the factors of 1 okay I am solving one question then we apply the same concept in our question if we have 1 by x say plus 1 by y equal to 1 by 14 so what is the factor form of equation is here we have 1 by 14 but we want RHS should be 1 so multiply that is 14 by x plus 14 by y is equal to 1 so the factor equation is x minus 14 y minus 14 and the constant is minus 14 and minus 14 is 14 square 
if you are looking for the integral solutions the meaning of integral solution is factors of 14 squared into twice because we are looking for plus minus both integrals are plus minus both so that is the it's nothing but 2 into 7 squared and a square total number of factors of 14 squared is 9 this is the total number of factors of 14 square which is the plus sign but we are looking for integrals so we have to multiply by 2 so there are the 18 factors of total 14 square including plus factors including negative factors but here one condition is x and y cannot be 0 at a time means we have to exclude one factor means if x is 0 we have minus 14 y is 0 we have minus 14 and this is in the 18 form so they are the total integrals are nothing but 18 minus 1 exclusion of minus 14 and minus 14 is 17 17 are the total integral solutions if they ask how many are the positive how many are the negative we can say the total number of factors are 9 so the plus are the 9 minus are the 9 total is 18 but we exclude minus 14 and the minus 14 we exclude the negative terms so minus 1 from the negative term is 8 so we can say the 9 are the positive integrals negative integrals are the 8 and total are 17 I am again repeating you, you just need to convert into the factor equation form, find the total number of factors, twice the total number of factors, exclude the factors which, for which the denominator is 0, so it is 9, the double is 18, means 9 are the positive, 9 are negative, we excluded minus 14 and minus 14, why? If we put x is 0 and y is 0, then we get minus 14, minus 14. So we exclude our negative terms, so 9 minus 1 is 8. Total 8 are the negative integral solutions, total 9 are the positive integral solutions and total is 17 is the integral solution. So this is the concept and if you check this direct formula, you will get the same thing. I hope it is clear. So I am writing a general equation to convert a factor form. If we have a by x plus b by y is equal to m by n. Our first aim is to convert RHS in 1. So we can say AN upon MX plus BN upon MY equal to 1. So our general equation is MX minus AN denominator minus numerator MY minus BN denominator minus numerator equal to product of constant term that is ABN square. means we have to work upon a b and squares factors according to the question i hope it is clear now solve our question our first question is 3x minus 2y equal to 1 by 12 if we simplify or make a factor form we want 1 in the rj so this becomes 36 upon x minus 24 upon y equal to 1 so the factor form is x minus 36 we want here plus so minus 24 y minus of minus 24 is plus 24 and the product of constant is minus 36 and 24 we do not want negative sign in the RHS so we minus multiply minus in both the sides so this becomes 36 minus x y plus 24 that is 36 into 24 If we factorize this one, that is 2 square in 36 and 2 cubes, so we have 2, 5. Finally, 3 square in 36 and 3, so 3 cube. So the total number of factors according to the number system is 6 into 4 is 24. There are 24 factors of 36 into 24 is means RHS. And we are looking for, according to question, integral solutions means we are looking for positive and negative. So we have... By this we can say total would be 48 integral solutions but we have to consider the denominators can't be equal to 0. So we have to exclude 1 for which the denominator is equal to 0. So the answer is 47. There are the 47 integral solutions of x and y for this 3x minus 2 upon y is equal to 1 by 12. Or you just can say 
just make a equation or remember the formula use the formula but I'll say remembering all the formula is not an easy task so just work upon the concept and solve the question okay let's solve the last question first convert in the equation form we can say if this one is minus we directly write 12 minus x y plus 12 is equal to 12 square or you can say x minus 12 I'm writing that is 12 by x minus 12 by y equal to 1 that is x minus 12 y minus this one is what y minus of minus 1 is plus 12 and the product is 144 minus 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 144 and we multiply minus in both the sides we will get the same value now we have to work upon the 12 squared if we are looking for the integral solution then the answer would be the total number of factors of 12 squared into 2 because positive negative and minus 1 this is what is in the formula but we are looking for the positive integral solutions for the positive integral solutions x must be less than 12 so we are looking for the factors of 12 squares which are less than 12 but positive either you can work upon the number systems concepts or you can work upon the manual so I am here I am using the manual concepts the factors of 12 square less than 12 are nothing but 1 2 3 4 6 8 and 9 total are 7 factors so there are 7 positive factors which are less than 12 will satisfy this equation so we have 7 set of x and y for this the equation would satisfy so the answer of this one is 7 if you are looking for the integral solution for this type of things 2 into total number of factors minus 1 but if you are looking for the positive solutions you just need to work upon 12 minus x x would be the factors of RHS but less than 12 okay if you have any doubt feel free to ping me on this YouTube thread or on Facebook or even you can message me on Facebook okay thanks